Lux Algo, how do I use it? The tutorial you have been waiting for. All the different things that you use to follow trends, find reversals, find buy zones when it's down, even support zones as it's going up, and of course, when to get out, when to sell. Lux Algo is great with that. There's a Luxalgo affiliate link down below. I'm going to take you through the three primary indicators that I use that somebody who is very knowledgeable in the business was gracious enough to show me. Okay. I have a sponsorship with Luxalgo. And you know what? If I didn't, I would buy it anyway. I'm your host, Bill Noble. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live and if the content works for you, please hit the like button. Okay, we're going to dive into PowerPoint because I'm going to do this with PowerPoint so as to show the menus up close. A lot of people use drop downs on these instructional videos and you can't see them. Okay, this is not investment advice. Three indicators that I use. Oscillator matrix, which is where we get like money flow and like a super RSI for things like reversals and divergences. So very much like higher price stuff from people like Tom DeMarc. Price action concepts where we get like a range divided up into like the discount zone is cheap, you know, equilibrium balance, premium, expensive, making a living with this in crypto as of the recording of this video in October. And then signals and overlays kind of like a quant momentum following signal for buying and selling with take profit targets, which I really call support and resistance levels that not everyone can see. All right, now this is what these indicators are gonna look like. Would you see them inside trading view? Just so you know, this is oscillator matrix, price action concepts, signals and overlays, right? So you check all these in your indicators so they each show up on your chart. Now, when you open up the menu, right, for each of these things, right, you click on something, you click on the menu and you're like, oh my God, what do I check? I'll tell you. So price action concepts, volumetric order blocks, I check all three. Internal buy sell activity gives you like an indication of how much buying and selling occurred at a particular support or resistance level. Sometimes those levels are obvious. Sometimes they're a little hidden, right? And they can give you an idea like, hey, if, if the market approaches this point, should I cover or not? Then there's something called show breakers. Now you have to go into the menu. You have to click on each of these. I change them from red and green to yellow for support and pink for resistance. When you change the color, you will have to adjust the color strength to 100%. You'll see it in the menu, but I just wanted to, sh to show you where show breakers is important stuff. Now on the internal buy sell activity, that's what's up here. This is the Bitcoin daily chart as of October 22nd, 2024. You can see up here at the high at 72 K, right? You have the red bar slightly bigger than the green bar. So the bigger, the red bar versus the green bar at resistance means the more likely it is that traders who are long will cover, okay? Or where shorts could stop out, right? Most likely it's pretty much where, you know, actually where longs would cover and shorts would enter, okay? Here it's sort of balanced as it is down here. But if you see one color bigger than the other, particularly if you see a big red bar, okay, on a resistance zone, you take that seriously. These things are very interesting just in terms of like, you know, like this is major resistance and minor support near 54K, all right? Now, the breakers are an, a feature added on to the thing I just described. So a breaker will be like, wow, you know, this is really important. The market's like moving above or below it. So when you flip and you break out here in QQQ on an 89 minute chart, Lux Algo will insert this yellow color as a support block underneath the market. So if you ever hear me on TV, I'm like, well, Lux Algo is putting support underneath the market. So if you miss like this buy signal and it goes up, when it comes back down, it's giving you an idea of the support 
that needs to hold. And if it does, it can continue. So this is a really, really catchy thing. Now in bonds, because you know, stocks have been going up and bonds have been going down, right? Every time bonds break a level, right? When they break these support and resistance levels, Lux Algo puts the pink resistance block. So you know, if bonds bounce back up to these levels and they can't get through, then they're gonna continue to go lower, right? It's, it's that simple. So it's like adding support and resistance that people can't necessarily see. Like it's not just Fibonacci, you know, retracement lines. It's, it's frankly, it's more sophisticated based on prior support and resistance levels that, you know, you don't necessarily have to look at yourself. You don't have to be like, whoa, w w like was that support and resistance important? Which one looks, Algo just does it. Okay, then when we go to liquidity concepts menu, you know, you can, you can correct check trend lines and have it draw trend lines for you. And I just have show pattern zones checked. You can have Lux Algo try and draw triangles and all kinds of things for you. Mainly I'm interested in trend lines. Now the money, premium discount zones, check the box, okay? Red is, you know, Lux Algo's definition of the top of the range. Gray is balance. So if something's way below balance, it can rally to the balance zone. Same thing on the upside, right? If it's hitting resistance, where's it gonna go back to? The balance zone. And then green is discount, okay. So Solana Weekly, great example. Down here is the discount zone, right? Solana sat here around $19 or $20 for a year, right on the discount zone. And then it launched itself, right? Coins, you know, in this early bull market period, pre-election, coins are launching themselves off the discount zone. Then Solana goes to the equilibrium zone at 135. Uh, it does a venture through there in March, and then it's just sat here and oh, look, look at Solana pound on not only equilibrium as support, but this yellow support block, right? And then where does Solana eventually wind up? Well, if equilibrium holds, premium is up here at 270. How many people talking about Solana 270 in October? Not many, not many. Okay, and then there is signals and overlays. Okay, so this is the, you know, kind of like, buying and selling the quant system. So you're gonna click AI signal classifier, right? So it'll give the signals and it'll rank the signals. Like one is okay and you know, four is really strong. It can be really interesting. You know, you have the AI classifier one, two, three, four in advanced settings, just leave that. And then you click smart trail. So after it gives you a signal, it'll give you like take profit or resistance levels if it's a buy above the market. So here's DGEN, here's a classic example. This is a two day chart. This green little box with the number, okay? You know, you had this DGEN in the discount zone for months, but then when it popped, right? The sick, you know, this came in like, hey, let's get involved. It rallies up, it holds the yellow support block and these blue dotted lines over here that I have sort of like highlighted with these arrows, you know, those are the upside targets potentially from this signal. So you ask yourself, well, you know, what can happen in DGEN, right? Like, well, I don't know. The equilibrium zone is up here. The first resistance target is 119% away. The second one is 245% away. So, you know, that signal, if it stays this way and this support holds, meaningful. Oscillator matrix. This is where you get money flow, okay? So you wanna show money flow. This shows when people are giving up or when people are overly FOMOing in. Down here, it'll give you money flow colors. When you see green on green, that's FOMO. Red on red is people giving up. You wanna, under hyperwave, you wanna show the hyperwave. That's essentially the RSI oscillator, right? And then, you know, you wanna make sure that you have it clicked on divergences. So you can have the computer show you where the sort of like unconfirmed new highs and unconfirmed new lows are. So here's a classic example of all the things inside the oscillator matrix 
They give you sell signals or buy signals like little triangles. I know that's small, but that's what you have to pay attention to. There are X, little baby X's. The X means momentum is slowing. The triangle means warning, 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 reversal. So here in Coinbase's stock, you got momentum slowing. You got warning, warning, warning. You got one final heave. The red on red means people have been given up on Coinbase for over a month. They put Coinbase into the discount zone. That's the green bar. And then they came in and bought it on the breakout. It retraced and continued. And now they're sticking support underneath the market. So that's a classic example. This is a great example of a divergence. So Lux Algo will draw this automatically. I kind of, you know, highlighted it in red. So this is the great British pound versus the dollar, also known as sterling. So sterling makes a big new high after a warning signal. So warning signal, big emotional new high into the where? The premium zone. You get a reversal signal. And then this high in price was higher. And this high in the oscillator was lower. A lower high in the momentum indicator and a higher high in price. Like, oh, Bill, you're giving me a headache. Yeah, it's just called bearish divergence or bear div right? So you get the bearish divergence and then sterling comes off, the dollar goes higher and we just have to wait our turn while this divergence works itself out. Okay. So that's it for the PowerPoint part of it. The most important thing to remember is get your colors right. And Luxalgo allows you to think in a different way. Where is support and resistance? Where would a momentum model enter the market? And if a market is trending, where is support and resistance underneath it? And of course, with the premium and discount zones, you're like, hey, should I give up on my crypto or should I hang on to it? Is it at the discount zone where you would hold on or is that the premium zone where you might take some money off the table? Please check out the Lux Algo affiliate link down below. More videos and deeper dives coming.